Hello everybody, Carla Nicole. It is a pretty damp Sunday, but it's Sunday no less. So of course it is um, my next episode of Transformation Series. <laughs> and you know, I really didn't do a whole lot of preparing today for this. I just decided, hey, I'm going to just go in and focus and think about what it is um, we need to do, man. Um, you know, being a wisdom coach and coaching various people, my clients, and then just some people that just would really like, you know, to get some help or, or just want some insight. Um, a lot of times people come to me and, you know, they just want to ask me, you know, certain questions or certain things that they have on their heart and mind. So, you know, I like to just put it put it out here. I want to put this disclaimer out to understand this. If you come to me about wanting some help or or seeking change and wanting to make a transformation, understand this. You have to be ready to do some self-reflection. If you are not willing to self-reflect, understand this. You will not be well, really ready to be a client of mine. Just putting that disclaimer out. Because I'm straight to the point. I'm very matter of fact. But I'm also a loving, compassionate person. But at the end of the day, I can't coach you if you're not willing to self-reflect and invest in yourself. I have a course right now called Learning to Unlearn. You can't even be my client until you take that course because I need you to start reflecting on what it is that is causing your scenarios or your situations to be what they are without always pointing your finger at everybody else. Everybody else is the problem except you. Turn that pointer finger to you because what happens in our life, what we allow in our life is because of our approvals our acceptance just that simple so anyway i made me a, a cup of tea and ironically <laughs> i had a really nice little tag here from my yogi tea and i wanted to share it with everybody it says it is not talking of love but living in love that is everything i'm gonna read that again it is not talking of love, but living in love is everything. Point blank, period. So we want, we want love in our life. And I'm not just talking about relationship love. We want love, period. We want, we want love parentally. We want love for in, in our families. We want love with our friends. We want love across the board but first <laughs> let me put you up on game with something if you desire and want love you gotta love you first so in that loving of self you must understand that you must get this you must self reflect and actually step out of your life and look inside your life when you wake up every day are you seeing what you want to see in your life when you wake up every day, are you seeing in your life what you want to see? And nine times out of ten, for those who don't see what they want to see, they're doing what? Complaining. <laughs> Complaining. Bickering. Miserable. Aggravated. But it's your life. Nobody else is in control of your life but you. That is just point blank, period. If you want to be in a different state of mind if you want to have a different state of life if you want to see a newfound joy then you must first find it within you first and if you're not finding your own joy in you then my strong suggestion is to seek your peace but see a lot of times we don't want to admit that we spend a lot of time gossiping we spend a lot of time talking about everybody else and 
people that impact our lives negatively. We talk about that. So we talk about a lot of things and then yet we don't want to make change. Because why? See, I believe if you really want change, if you really desire transformation, I believe that you no longer talk about it, but you start making changes proactively. Okay? So what does that mean? That means that if I'm having a negative um, result from someone, or I'm having a, a, a negative scenario, or I'm in a negative partnership with a mate, or I have a bad situation going on with my kids, I mean, or I'm having a, a horrible scenario at work. All of these things happen, can happen, has happened. Um, so what do we do, right, in order to make some changes? We have to make some serious uh, gut checking about ourselves. Now, sometimes in your job, you can't make a, a, a job change right away. So you have to learn how to do what? You got to transform how you respond to some of the negative stuff that comes up in your life because of the, the person or the people. They don't want to give you a, a certain level of respect. So with that said, what happens? We find ourselves in between a rock and a hard place. We're frustrated. And so what we have to do is we have to sit back and we have to say, okay, here's the thing. I have this scenario in my life and I'm not happy with it. Okay, so we get that part, right? I'm not happy with my scenario. I'm unhappy with it. Only you can change it. Okay, so first of all, learn the power of your changing your response to how the negativity impacts you. Okay, so if someone is negative or someone is constantly bickering, complaining, gossiping, you shut it down and let them know, listen, I'm not here for that. I don't want to hear about. I don't want to hear about your your stuff and your misery and your your scenarios and your and your horrible relationship you refuse to get out of. I don't want to hear about it anymore. And then guess what? That shuts off and shuts down the impact that it has on you because you're sitting here listening to it. Because trust and believe, it's energy. I don't care whether we want to admit it or not. It's energy. Energy meaning that if someone is burdening you with their stuff, then guess what? Your, their energy is going to impact you and your attitude and the rest of your day. But you're in control of that. You can be like, listen, <laughs> I ain't got this to do. I'm not going to sit here and listen to you complain and bicker and, and, and want to shed light on everybody else's madness because you are obviously obsessed with the negativity. And I don't have it to do. And understand, it's okay to tell people, I'm not, the, I'm not, I'm just not this chick. I'm just not that dude. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and listen to, listen to your negative situations and scenarios because you really don't want to change them. Transformation, man. It's not hard, but understand it's not easy either to transform. We have to make changes and make changes proactively. See, I believe when we decide to make changes and we make and, and we decide to navigate our life in a different direction, nine times out of ten, we don't talk about it. We just start making decisions based upon having that particular uh, outcome to become what it is based off of our actions and our decision making. Let me tell you something. Let me sip this tea. If you want something to change, you've got to be willing. Hey, Benji, thank you, love. If you're wanting to change, you have got to sit down and look at your scenario and look at your and look at your your control. Let me tell you something. I don't care what kind of relationship you're in. I don't care if you have a pet. I don't care if you have kids. I don't care if you're in a job. I don't care if you're you have siblings. I don't care if you have friends. I don't care if you have a mate. Get this. I want you to re I want this branded in your head right now. 
You can't control nobody else but you. <laughs> okay? I have a dog, Marley. I got a son and daughter, Mar uh, Morgan and Braylon. I got my, my father. I have, you know, friendships I've had for a long time. And I've had friendships that are new. I have people that I'm cool with. I have, hey, Wayne. I have people that I'm cool with. I have people that support me. People that back me up. I got all kinds of beautiful souls that I am impacted by. Hey, Malayo. But understand, though. I don't allow myself to feel that if someone says something or does something that is not favorable in their life that or favorable to me, I'm not going to say to them, well, you know what? I ain't got nothing else to do with you because of this and that. We all make indecisions. We all make poor choices. Not to mention, we also make <laughs> bad calls, right? We all do. Well, none of us are perfect. So with that said, we have to sit down and say, hold on. When people make I don't know, just bad choices, bad calls. Have compassion for them. But also, don't let them burden you with their stuff. Because let me tell you something. When people burden you with their stuff, it can be exhausting. It can take away your energy. It can cause you more frustration than anything. You're finding yourself thinking about their life more than your own. And that's not fair to you because you have total control over your own life. Not theirs. So in order for us to get past this... We got to know when to tell people, listen, if you have this scenario and you're not ready to hear the truth, nor are you ready to make some changes, then guess what? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your story. I don't want to hear your, your, about your misery because you're not, you don't want to change. You don't want to make, you don't want to make changes. We have to learn to unlearn. That's why I have this course out. We have to learn to take away from what we have dealt with, what we have done. See, understand this. When we're going through life, we're seeing it from a, a, a first person view. Okay? So it's like watching, it's, it's, it's like you are in first person. So you are the cameraman in your life. Now, you have friends, family, kids that are, check this out, they are the ones, the movie watchers in your life. So they're watching you and can tell you, well, I see you're doing this or doing that. Oh, I bet you you're going to do this and predict real well, right? Well, because they're watching your movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when you are the camera person, you can't see what's going on other than the, the, the actual view you can see through. That's why I tell you it's vitally important that you step out of being the cameraman in your life and you step into being on the outside and just evaluating what do I see? What am I noticing in, the, in my life that I need to change or, or I need to actually enhance or I need to maybe tweak a little bit or I need to maybe, you know, add something to it or, or do something a little more creative. All of these things can happen just by us stepping outside of ourselves for a minute and looking at our life and saying, you know what, my life is beautiful or my life isn't so beautiful. I have a, I have the full reins to change your movie. You, I said last week that we are the executive producers of our movie. And our movie is our life. But a lot of times, we don't want to own that part. We don't want to own that, oh my God. I want to just say that I'm a victim of everybody else doing this and that to me. Because it's easy, isn't it? Isn't it? We don't have to be accountable for shit. If we sit back and say, well... You know, such and such did this to me. Okay, but what was you what was your accountability in the scenario? What did you what did you do? What what were you what were you a part of when you were dealing with the stuff that was going on in your life? We have to get out of always blaming someone else. We have to get out of being a chronic complainer. Cr chronic complaining and blaming someone else is often going to resort in you not self-reflecting. And that is a huge problem in your movie of life. We have to get out of being in, like I said, in first person. Step out of our life. Look at it. Is everything on all cylinders? Is everything working to your advantage? Is there something in your life that you're not liking? You can change it just by mere decision making. 
number one. Number two, the other thing you can do is remove people that are in your life that are causing the havoc, that are a part of the whole drama that's got your whole life not where you want it to be. And it's not hard. Trust me. I remember one time I had a spiritual leader tell me, look, you know, your life isn't bad, but it's the company you keep. I said, oh, really? It's your company you're keeping. Yes. Who you who you are intimately involved with. And I said, really? Okay. Give me a minute. I'll be back. I shut it all down. I started to evaluate every person in my life that was not healthy for me. I started to disassociate. Not in a mean way. I just started not answering calls. Stopped being, uh, 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 going to the various events, going to different people's homes. I just stopped. And I did it on purpose. Because my peace is way more important than me sitting around having a bunch of hee hee and ha ha, but miserable in the, in, in, in the, in the long run. Because all I'm dealing with is their gossip, dealing with their complaints. And let me tell you something, ain't nothing worse than being around people that don't want to do nothing but complain and gossip about somebody else, but really doesn't have the desire to make change for themselves. I'm telling you, it is absolutely, unequivocally unacceptable. And a lot of times people don't want to own their shit. They don't want to, they don't want to own the fact that they are behind the drama. It's so much easier to be a victim, right? It's easier to be like, well, this person did this to me, and this person did that to me, and oh my God, and oh my God, this happened, and blah, blah, blah. okay, so what you going to do about it? You going to keep being involved with these people that keep giving you headache? Or are you going to decide, nah, I'm going to have to disassociate. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to make some changes. And I, I make it a point, usually... Whenever I have a, a life event, whether it's, you know, a divorce or if I have a, a change with my, you know, my kids or, or going into it, their, their road of life or if I have just a change, I refresh my home. I refresh my background. My, my, my home is somewhere that I want to land and when I come home, I want it to be the home that I enjoy and love. I want, I want, I want to have peace when I come home. Not headache. So with that said, in order to get that and receive that, I have to make some transformations. So I, I decide to decorate or, or, or do something different or change the room around. You know, I think a lot of times we get in routine and in ruts and we don't realize that some of the stuff we have in our home is carrying energy. Did you know that? Let me tell you about that real quick because I don't think I have much more time. Some items in your home carries an energy and depending on I call them little time capsules in your home depending on um, the energy of that person or of that situation it can be impacting your home more than you can imagine it could be casting off energy that is not favorable to what, what you're trying to do or where you're trying to go or where you're trying to advance to or what type of life you're wanting. So my thing is, and I tell people this that are going through like a divorce or going through, uh, you know, empty nesting and now their kids are leaving. The energy in your home is going to change whenever someone leaves your home or whenever someone comes into your home. The energy in your home changes. So with that said, I'm telling you now you want to refresh, you want to get into um, removing old stuff that has an old negative impact on your life. For instance, a lot of times people can be what, what we call pack rats, right? They hold on to so much stuff back in the 80s, back in the 90s. They got stuff in there that old memories that are just not favorable for their newfound life. And we don't realize that it is okay to discard things that really is no longer purposeful. The, the, even the memory is, 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 is carrying an energy. And in that memory, it's like, man, I feel sad. 
every time I look at this picture, it, it makes me sad. It makes me it makes me hurt. That is something you want to look at because, and the reason I say that is a lot of times we don't even realize that there's items in our home carrying energy in our home. And with that said, we got to be mindful that sometimes we got to get some of the things in our home out of our home. I mean, because I mean, we don't realize it, but it does carry an energy. So I just wanted to give you that heads up too. make sure you're mindful that it is okay to transform and transforming can also include redecorating. Um, getting rid of old things that just, you know, doesn't give you a good peaceful feeling. Even old clothing, anything, any item that just, you know, I remember when I was in this situation and I had this on. Well, that's carrying that energy. So discard it. It's okay to let things go. It's okay to refresh your life. It's okay to transform and say, hey, I want a newfound, I want a newfound um, view in my home and energy and do it you can because you have the power to do it you have control over that your home you got a power over but um but just like i said earlier i don't care if it's your child your animal your mate your siblings your parents i don't care who it is you cannot control them the only person you can control is you i'm going to put my link in this chat for my course called learn to unlearn right now it's on sale so you might want to jump over there and grab this course now because I'm probably going to change the price and increase it eventually but I just want to give everybody the opportunity to take the course and man listen if you do the assignments and if you watch the videos and if you pay attention to what is on the infographs it will impact your life more than you can ever imagine I took a lot of hard work to do this and create it and I did it because of the fact that I had to learn to unlearn some things and in doing so I what good is my lesson if I can't share it with someone and help them to better their life so that's one of the things and one of the reasons why I've done it and created it I'm also a wisdom coach if you need any type of wisdom coaching or you need somebody to help you build your insight call me 844-5-WISDOM extension 0 I am here. That's what I do. I'm a wisdom coach. So I am here and I do have services for that. I am also a body worker, an energy body worker. If you are, listen, you want energy body work, by all means, call that number as well. You can call that number and you can get um, a session scheduled. If you're out of state, there's certain, um, there's certain pricing that's different than the local pricing, of course. But the, um, but the out-of-state pricing is listed as OOS, so if you want to uh, schedule for a session with me um, to do body work on you, then definitely reach out as well. And I will also put my, my coaching page information on this link as well. And if you want to look me up, it's called Carla Nicole's Wisdom Coaching Services. So I hope I helped somebody today. Please remember that transformation is a beautiful thing. Transformation can help and build your life to a better, higher standard. And um, you'll find your peace in the midst of it. All right? So I'm out of here. I hope I helped somebody today. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.